guys, it's us, the Arcade Couple. Lowney's really cold. I don't know why, it's not that cold outside. But anyways, we are in Erie, Pennsylvania, and we are at, <coughs> sorry, I have a cold. We're at round one, and uh, we're gonna go and give you a tour here of this round one. So it's really small, it's different than most round ones that you'd be used to. Uh, you can see here, it's just, just uh, this on the bottom. So we got some Alpine Racer, you got a Hummer game, you got Star Wars Battle Pod, you got some racing games over here. I think these are the little photo booths, the Japanese style photo booths. There's the Photo Studio Deluxe, some more racing games, a couple of shooting games, things like that. You got some House of the Dead, Air Hockey, Pirates game. They do have some of the better games over here though. We got Transformers, Shadows Rising. I feel like that's newer. Maybe I'm wrong. Some more games over there. A couple Pac-Man right there. You got Bejeweled. I've never seen that before, that's interesting. Piano Keys, classic. Ocean Pearls, classic. Uh, Galaga's on that side. Beat the Goalie. That's kind of cool. Color Match, we'll probably be playing that. That's a lot of fun even though he can never win. Snakey tickets, we're excited to play Snakey tickets because we've seen it played a lot, but we've never gotten to play it. And then a couple spinny games. So that's it, guys. That's the grand tour of round one. Ah, we're just kidding. There's an upstairs to this round one, but this is where we walked in downstairs. We haven't been upstairs yet, so you'll get to experience that with us uh, live. Well, not live, but the same time we experience it. So we'll go up the stairs. You want to take the escalator up? That way it'll be a little less, less uh, shaky on the camera. We thought the downstairs, we thought the downstairs was a little bit bigger, but kind of deceiving from the pictures. But here we go, upstairs to more of the main section of round one, up the escalator. Auni's still shaking. We'll see how it goes. We're excited to see what they have up here. We hear it's a pretty big place, pretty huge. So. We shall see. Almost there. A really long, long, long escalator ride. Okay. Oh wow! Here we go. Wow! There it is, folks. Round one in the flesh. Holy macaronis! Yeah, let's start over here. I like this. Is I feel like this is really organized. Yeah. You know. That's good. Just from looking, because you got all your racing games. It looks like right here. So you got your Daytona Championship, I know that's popular for people. So you got all your kind of racing games, it looks like, right along this side. Bowling, bowling is on the other side, you can't see it through there. This is, they have this at, um, this is Pong. They have this at Apex. But this is cool. Looking. Yeah, this is a big one though. Uh, looks like you got some fighting games in through here. I know that's really popular for people, the fighting games. And you're gonna have more cabinets on this back side here. Shooting game. Here's the rest of your fighting games right here. We got the Hyper Shot. I love this game. This is a lot of fun. So you got all that through there. Basically all your basketball games. NBA Hoops. I can totally beat 128. NBA Hoops right there. That's crazy. You got two minute drill. I can definitely beat that game. You got some Sonic shooting. With all your basketball. Hot shot over here. Just uh, real quick on this back side. More of your fighting games and more of your shooting games right here. Some other weird Japanese games. Oh, I can't play beanbag toss. No. Oh, oh well. Well, there you go. You got that. Lane Master beanbag toss. More of your non-ticket games in this section. We set the fighting games, shooting games. Jumbo jumping. Right there. Like a rock band type game. Guitar hero type game. Another game over there. Like this time. We never try this stuff. You played one of the, the dancing games last time. Yeah. You did a dancing game. He did a couple songs on there. Probably had BTS on there, your favorite Korean band of that stuff. Some more of your rhythm type games here. And I'm looking, looks like. So here's the downstairs where we came from. So that's the escalator that we came up. So there's those few games downstairs. Still round one. 
It's all connected. Here's your DDR. That's where all the sweaty guys are. So you got your DDR machines there. You know, those are really popular here at round one. Really, really organized though. This is what you played. No, this is not what I played. I thought this is what you played. It was similar to this though. This is different because you have to get on. Oh, I see, yeah. It's kind of like Guitar Hero, except dancing. All right. So now we get into some of the arcade games here. We got Tower Tickets. Oh, this is brand new. This game is brand new from Ice. This is Aoni's game because this combines Down the Clown, my game, with Whack-A-Mole, where you're just downing, you're just whacking clowns. Whack a clown. Can you beat the high score? You gotta beat 4,000. I'm so excited for you to uh, play this because this game is brand new. I've not seen anyone play this yet, so. Pop the, Pop the Lock, we got the Soccer Stars game. That's a lot of fun. Well, you can try that one. We'll stay away from that. We got Gear It Up. That's always a classic. Gotta love Gear It Up. Baseball Pro, I'm excited about that. I love that game. Scooby-Doo. Uh, <laughs> yes, we're, sure we're playing this too. <laughs> got your Slam of Winter games there. Got your some of your spinny games here. We'll come back into the this section of stuff. The UFO catchers in a bit. Uh, we got piano keys. You got some of your skee ball games right there. Maybe I can beat eighty thousand on skee ball. Uh, look at this. Oh, still five hundred for that, but kind of excited to play this. I think. Try to win a lot of tickets today. Whole bunch of milk jug toss games. A couple down the clown machines. Plants for zombies. That's always fun to play. Okay. Gold fishing. That's a good time. All sorts of games here, guys. Ooh, they got uh, Monster Up Chaos. We've only played that, I think, one other time. Yeah. And uh, Tilt. I think Tilt Studio we played it. Deal or No Deal. Some of your. Spin games. On this side, you had some more wheels and things like that. Here's full tilt here. Fly clock. That's always fun to play. <laughs> you played that last time, I think. Over on this side, you got the barrel laps, the pinata game, circus ball drop. And also, you played circus ball drop. That's fun. You got your big monster drop extremes here. You got three of them. It's always fun to play. Got your monster, ticket monster, big wheels here. There is a whole bunch. Well, let's go here first. Here's your, your row of small claw machines. Yeah, you probably win some of those, knock them in. So you got your row of small claw machines here, and then on the other side as well. <coughs> oh, excuse me, I got, I got a cold. There's some more over here on this side, small ones. You got some, what are these called? I can't think of it. This is the Superstar. Those are always tough to play. Crazy Tower right there. Tightrope, there's two tightropes. Oh, nice. I'll play some tightrope later. Uh, got some more arcade games over here. Cubes, classic Barrel of Monkeys I see over there. Got Tower Tickets right here. Oh, man. Here, let's go over to the oh, Maze Escape, Bounty's game. She's better at that than I am. Let's go over to here to the UFO catchers now because we'll get to the what's on that side. So, look, here's some of these figures that I know are really popular. So, I do want to try for this because these are going to be easier to win than okay. the ping pong droppers. Yep. So this is actually the one that I won off Tarepa right there. I like this one. You got all sorts of <laughs> figures and characters here. So, maybe we'll go for some of those. But here's the UFO catcher section. And claw machines. <coughs> kind of your typical. Don't look at me like that. I have a cold. Put a cough drop in it. I only have one more. Well, you should put more. I bought That's a whole bunch. Easy. Some really kumas here. Classic crazy tower. Uh, let's see what's on this side. Some more of these things. Some of these things where we've seen for a while here. Some roll cakes. Those are cool. I haven't seen those before. It's, a, it's like a Christmas Hello Kitty. Ooh, well, an Irish. It looks like a Scottish Irish. Yeah. Check out this sloth. Ooh, look at that hedgehog. Yeah. Yes. That's funny. 9.8 credits. 
That's expensive. I feel like they upped their credit. Like, why 9.8? That's strange. So, you got some more here. What do we got? Some more Hello Kitties. Well, this is not Hello Kitty. Ian Cafe. That's cool. We've got a little We've got some of these ones where you got to lift the top off and hope that you win. Most has left any box to win. These little Pomeranian pups. I don't know if they're Pomeranians, but... Claw machines. Got some of these guys. See, this is interesting. Oh, I like this. <coughs> like, how would you win it, though? You'd have to push it. I feel like it's still too big to get through there. Maybe knock it through the back? I don't know. I don't know. But at well, least they have we, some we variety. Tarapa, so. At least they have some variety. That's yeah. good. That was a little bit different. We got some more Hello Kitty over here. Oh yeah, look at this Hello Kitty. A little cheerleader Hello Kitty. So they got lots of different variety, which is what we were hoping for because sometimes it's all the same between round ones, but well, they got a lot of different stuff here. I can tell you what's over here. How many is going to tell us what's over here? All this stuff. Oh, that's cool. Then we're going to go this side here, and then we'll go into the coin pusher section because there's a new coin pusher we want to show you. Oh yeah, then we get to the prize center. So... Yeah. Yeah, they got some like different types of Hello Kitties I've not seen before. That's really interesting. They got a pancake. Gotta love pancakes. Here's the ping pong droppers. We're kind of going back and forth between everything here. Yeah, maybe this is a roll cake over here, though. But you got some more of these guys. We had such a hard time trying to win. This guy here. Yeah, but maybe you lift up a box and win. You never know. Then you got these sort of round things. Those are really squishy and cool. Some Super Mario. There's more on the other side. There's more on the other side. Yep, there's plenty of UFO catchers here to play. This is kind of the last section, I think, of it. Yeah. Kind of your smaller stuff. What is that? Black Panther? Halo. Oh, okay. Interesting. Halo! Then they got this where you just like a UFO, you know, claw machine almost. Just grab it and win it. So that's cool. It's more Hello Kitties. Can't tell you how many of those things we've won. These really weird, huge jawed animals. And then your larger Agritsuko. Only got the nice ones, not the death metal screaming ones, which we have watched that show now, so we know a little bit more about it than we did last time. When you when Annie worked at Michael's, she felt like that was like her spirit animal. More dancing games over here. This keeps going on and on. Here's Zoom Zoom. Annie's looking forward to that, you know she is. Yeah, she left her Tsum Tsums at home, but she'll definitely be getting uh, a character, I'm sure. <laughs> Excuse me, so there's that. Some more games in here. We kind of showed you that already. I want to take you over to the coin pusher section over here. Oh, there we go! Another crazy tower. Yep. So the coin pusher section, the reason why I want to show you this is because they have a brand new coin pusher. They have Wizard of Oz. They got the... Uh, DC coin pusher here. They have Ticket Circus. And this is the new one right here. Marble Carnival. This game looks incredible. There's already two cards out. Wow. This looks so much fun. Holy mackerel, there's too much to look at. We're gonna waste so much money just on this game, I know. But this looks amazing. We're so excited to play this. This is brand new. I know Dragon Claw Games has had a video about this. And uh, I know that actually Claw Dude had one in Japan. Very similar to this. So we are excited to play. Very excited. Nice. Cool. Uh, here's the prize center. I think that's pretty much it. I'm kind of going all in circles here, but your bowling's back there. The restaurant and stuff is over here. Here's your billiards and everything over here in that section. But I think that's pretty much it. So we're gonna go into the prize center now and kind of tour that and show you that. They got the major prize stacker here. So let's take a look at the prize center. See if there's any prizes that we'll be going for later. We got your classic t-shirts and hats here for round one. You see all that. 
Very organized here, which is nice. I like, I like that lamp up there, to be honest. How many likes that that guitar lamp? Yeah. That's pretty interesting. Oh, oh, there's too much stuff in here. Lava lamps, which are out of off limits. Yeah, because we can't break them all the time. Yes. All sorts of neon lights, different lights. If you like any of that stuff. You got a uh, a giant Apollo 13 launch, or excuse me, Apollo 13 and Saturn 5 launch vehicle. I think that's like a model. It's kind of cool. Okay, I got a Nintendo DS, you got a Switch, you got some Bose headphones, you got your PlayStation 4, that kind of thing. Got some of your stuffed animal type stuff here. Those are kind of cool, that, di that dinosaur. You got your little mascot, you wear those, some Pusheens up there. Up on the very top, kind of hard to see, but you have some larger prizes. There's a Segway, there's little bikes and scooters and that kind of thing. That's cool. Back on this side here, you just have the, the small stuff, the trinkets, the, the little snacks, Japanese snacks on the other side. You've seen that in some of our other videos and everything from round, different round ones. Kind of the same. I'd say pretty much the same stuff that they have at the other round ones. You got a GoPro Hero 5 there. This classic Batman thing. Galaxy Tab. They got a drone. A GoPro drone. Wow. Well, if we happen to win 176,000 tickets, I think we should get that drone. But that's, uh, I don't think we're gonna win the main tickets. Skateboards, stereos. What do we got over here? Some figures, some little figures. Yeah, look at these, they're so cool. They're like the ones that you get, but like tinier. Yeah, those are pretty neat. Oh, I still like this puzzle. Is that a puzzle? Yeah, it's 108 pieces. Wow, that's interesting. Yeah, we got some pop figures here. You can see all these different pop figures. You got some models, it looks like, model kits of Star Wars, those are kind of cool. I like putting together like model cars when I was younger, I still do sometimes. I haven't finished one yet though. That's a piece of the puzzle. Yep. So different games and things like that right here. Back over on this side we have more, just kind of little trinket things, some Pokemon cards, some like inflatables, just kind of lower end stuff. This. Crazy cat lady, since now you are a crazy cat lady. Yeah, and it's got a little paw print on the bottom of it. Got all sorts of mugs and cups and everything right there. Got some instruments and stuff up there. Here's the t shirts. Yep. I might actually do that this time. Wasn't it this one that you were thinking of before or no? No, no, no. There was a cat one. The one up there. Oh, yeah, the cat one. But I think I like this one as well. Yeah, that's interesting. But I think I also like that one. But I think I also like that one up there. What about that, this one? I mean, that one's cool too. Well, we'll see how many tickets we can win. I think we're gonna try to do better on winning yeah, tickets. Yeah, the last one was a little small. Look at these socks though. Are yeah. they cute? Got all sorts of socks here. Like the little sheep. Yeah. Some backpacks, you got some, so looks like some higher end stuff up here, like suitcases and that kind of thing. That's kind of different. Why do we need to get a backpack? You said for um, Disney World. Oh, I, I was just gonna use my backpack. Oh. Got a little Mickey Mouse backpack, it looks like. You can fit about nothing in there. All right, over this side, we got some Pac-Man stuff, water guns, again, just kind of like trinket things. Got a big Jenga up there, a 3D printer. Wow, that's interesting, for 38,400. The Da Vinci Maker, yeah. That's cool, yeah. Hey, there's a popcorn maker. You were talking about not having popcorn. You get a kettle popcorn maker for 9,600 tickets. Yeah, maybe we'll win that for you. Well, you I don't know. That's kind of cheap looking. I'd be afraid of it. I don't know. Well, we'll see. Some other appliances up there. That's one thing I think is always funny. They have appliances. All right, let's uh, finish this up here. So we got some more stuff here. Some fizzy tap water. We got some a Roomba, and you got some clocks. I like that clock a lot. The, the geometric wood clock right there. They always got clocks. There's some signs down here too. Yep. It's kind of cool. It's not really drinking alone at the cat's home. <laughs> I like that. So there's some signs, and then on this side you got some. Oh, there's your Kimmy dolls. They got some different ones, but it's two of them. Oh, they have like, this is interesting. This is Luna? Like a <laughs> is that you? This is the bento. Oh, yeah? Interesting. 
What is this? This is interesting. You get rid of the other one. You get unlock it. And one touch open. Yeah, but then you lock it. I got some it more down there, it looks like. Different colors. I like the rose gold a lot. Well, it's 3,460. That seems crazy. So you got some of that, and then this is kind of the smaller stuff again, this little trinket things here and there, but yeah, I mean, pretty much some of the same stuff we've seen at most round ones. We'll try to win another one of these guys. I could get the, I could actually get the bear this time. Yeah, you got the jellyfish last time. Yeah. You get one of each and then put them all in the tub and you take a, <laughs> take a bath. And then uh, it's the real Akuma stuff right there. So yeah, I mean, you know, kind of the same as far as prizes and stuff go, but there's definitely some things here that I think we could kind of aim for if we can win a lot of tickets. Yeah. So we'll go from there. Maybe we'll save them up. I don't know. We, go, we always go, go back to round one, but... Well, I think we, we didn't use all of it last time, did we? I think we used most of it, oh, yeah. Okay. So, but anyway, we'll see how it goes. But I'm excited. So that's kind of a long tour. It's a 20-minute tour here of round one, but it's a big round one, but I like it. It seems very organized, very like in sections, which is kind of cool. But yeah, we're gonna have a ton of videos coming from round one, so you guys can be on the lookout for that. But we wanted to introduce you to what it looks like here in Erie, PA, in case you're from the area, you wanted to come out. This is kind of what you can expect. But we're gonna load up our card, and we're gonna go get ready to play some games, but you'll have to watch some videos later this week and the next couple weeks for that. So don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, let us know what you think about this round one location, especially with some of the other ones that you guys have seen. And uh, yeah, we'll look forward to seeing you in some of our round one videos coming up. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you in our next one. Bye! Round one!